So, we are going to the National Gallery of Painting. The only location visible is the National Gallery of Painting, which faces the column. Hmm, why not? Our man wants to steal a painting, but which one? Watson, shall we head out? Let's take a tour of the National Gallery. While you find us a handsome, I'll send a message to Lestrade to have him join us. Okay, I need to find a handsome? <laughs> well, if you're looking for handsome, look no further, because this is an Argelfumpf walkthrough. I am all kinds of handsome! Ha <laughs> ha! No, actually, I'm 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 not all kinds of handsome. I just just broke out with a couple of zits on my face yesterday. Yeah, even when you're in your 30s, you still get zits. Uh, you know, <laughs> I hate to tell all the teenagers watching this. People think zits are just a teenager problem. Nope, nope, totally happens when you're older. And now that I've grossed everyone out <laughs> at the start of my video walkthrough, uh, my video, uh, let's let's talk to this guy who just randomly appeared outside my building. Ooh, let's look at him. Hello, nice horse. The graphics are pretty fancy. I think this might be like the remastered version because they re-released this game with um, updated graphics at some point. I think that's the version of the game I have now. Ah, Lamb, good timing. Can you give myself and my friend Sherlock a lift? With pleasure, Dr. Watson. The mistress, uh, Miss Bromsby, gave me the day off. I'll wait for you. He was given the day off of work? What? I don't... whatever. Anyway, we're here in the museum. Oh, I'm controlling Sherlock. Cool. Good afternoon, gentlemen, and welcome to the National Gallery of Painting. As it's such a lovely day outside, you're the only visitors at the moment, and likely will be for the whole day. Oh, that's convenient. The minimum number of people for a guided tour is... We're not here to visit the museum, young man. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Sherlock Holmes? The famous detective? Mm -hmm. Indeed, I have reason to believe that a theft is being planned that will take place here, perhaps as early as today. A robbery? I'm not certain, but there is a good reason to believe that is the case. We have contacted Inspector Lestrade at Scotland Yard, and he should be joining us momentarily. Meanwhile, rest assured that we are here in an official capacity. In the meantime, you can certainly help us. One of the paintings will play a part in the matter, but I don't yet know exactly which one. I do, however, have a few clues that should tell something to a specialist like yourself. Ah, yes, of course. As it happens, I've only been working here for three days. Actually, I'm an apprentice, and my duties here are essentially administrative. Okay, so basically, this guy has no idea what he's doing, so we, he can't solve the mystery for us. We're going to solve the mystery on our own. Perfect, that's just how I like it. Pray tell, would I be correct in deducing that the elder of the two men that we can see up there is the director of the museum? Yes, that is Sir Pointer. He could certainly assist you better than I, but at the moment he's terribly occupied and will be for some time. But the location that you are proposing is unworthy of my work. All of my pieces are hymns to color and light. It's the very stars, the sun that you want to extinguish. Please understand, dear sir, the entrance hall is reserved for temporary exhibitions. We are able to add more lighting. In that case, you would have to provide lanterns across the whole length of the ceiling and to use the most refined oil possible. Definitely not gas and mirrors to reflect the light, along with some canvases in basic colors to bring out the contrasts. We will do all that we possibly can. Nevertheless, I insist that a number of my works must be on the main floor next to the large pieces. But our rooms are already full and, as you know, each has its specific subject. Too much modernism? How can there be too much modernism? Modernism doesn't exist. Only art exists. Art is timeless. Art is cosmic. Well, sir, perhaps we should continue this conversation in my office. Well, that was strange. Yeah, I have the feeling 
that French guy is clearly uh, Arsène Lupin. The over-the-top French accent, the ridiculous demands uh, for art that could be a cover for him trying to steal artwork. Or he's just a weird guy with a crazy mustache. Hard to tell. Then you must certainly have a letter of the works that are shown in the museum, with a description of each painter. Yes, yes the pointer entrusted it to my care this morning, so I could familiarize myself with the collection, but I lost it. I know, I make a rather feeble archivist, but while I was doing a tour of the museum, the painting that Mr. Pointer is now dealing with arrived, along with cases full of canvases that he had to quickly inventory. The case of the missing ledger, what do you make of it, Watson? Listen, Mr... Um, Palliner, sir. Palinor, my friend and I will make our way through the museum in order to find the ledger. If you lost it while touring the museum and it wasn't back on the desk, then it must be in one of the galleries. Stay here and we will return to see you when we have found it, and not a word of it to the director. Certainly, sir. With many thanks, I will continue to do my inventory and await you. Hmm, so it sounds like somebody might have stolen a ledger. I don't know, that's what I think, but it sounds like... Holmes thinks this dude just dropped it randomly because he's a klutz. Tell me, young man, would you happen to have a blueprint of the building in order to facilitate the task at hand? Ah, yes, yes, where did I put it? Oh, yes, here it is. Oh, thanks, dude. Farewell, Palinor. My, my new friend, Palinor. Okay, so can I actually walk through this entire museum? Awesome. Okay, where's the map? Here's the map, okay. So this is entrance hall, director's office. No admittance to public. Go in there. Oh, yeah. Closed. Oh, oh boo, boo. Director's office. Let's, let's meet the director. I said I didn't want to be disturbed. <laughs> Whiny McWhina pets. Italian, German, Flemish, Dutch, English, French. Is it French? It's French. This has to have something to do with that guy we were looking at. And yes, first person mode can show off all these these beautiful French paintings. My friend just staring at me, confused. Mm, yes, look, look at all that art. It's magnificent, and that's a random book. Is that Marie Antoinette? I think I've seen that picture yeah, before. It seems that we found the famous ledger. It's written in shorthand, and there are hundreds of entries. Let's bring it to the archivist. Archivist. Portrait of a woman by Perono. French school. Pastel on paper. Oh, just a woman. Jacques Cazotte. Portrait by Jean-Baptiste Perono. Born around 1715. Died 1783. Wow. A canvas by Joseph Vernet. My great, great uncle. Your great, great uncle was French, Holmes? What in the... How... I... A magnificent landscape by Gainsborough. I didn't know that was part of the Sherlock Holmes backstory. I... Anyway, here's a ledger. Um, it looks like I cannot look at it, so therefore I am just going to take it back to the whiny guy. <laughs> yes, Mr. Holmes. Yes, Mr. Holmes? Here's your ledger. Here is your ledger, my friend. You found it! Many thanks. You won't say anything to Sir Pointer. Rest assured, are you familiar with how the entries are written? Everything seems to be abbreviated. I understand how to locate a thematic group and how to read a description, but I am struggling with the location codes. It's better than nothing at the moment. We're searching for a painting that has a connection to the Battle of Trafalgar. Depicting what exactly? According to this poem, it could be... Anything. Okay, what does the painting depict? Okay, let's read this. Um, it could be Horatio Nelson. Let's go with Horatio Nelson. Are you sure? It means nothing to me, Mr. Holmes. Oh. oh. Mm, let's see. I wonder what this is. This space? That's space. That's space. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Does the threat have anything super cool to say? Adversary, victory, history. The hero we did meet carries a French name. Hmm, the Duke of Bronte? 
Okay, Admiral Villanueve. Let's go with that. Let me try Villanueve first. Are you sure? It means nothing to me, Mr. Holmes. Are you sure? It means nothing Okay, let me double check that I spelled that correctly. Villanueve. Okay, let's try that. Are you sure? It means nothing to me, Mr. Holmes. Okay, Admiral. Are you sure? It means nothing. Are you sure? Are you sure it means nothing to me, Holmes? I don't know what we're talking about, Mr. Holmes. Being mean to this guy. Okay, can I use a hint? As Holmes says, the poem suggests what it might be. Poem can be found in the document, so read it carefully. Um, the fighting turmeric. <laughs> the list of questions kind of is giving away um, the what it should be. Okay, so let me try this. Temerere. Are you sure? It hmm. means. Okay, well let's reread the poem then. See if we can't figure that out now that we've got a little bit of a hint, sort of telling us where to go. Across France, everybody knows. It's true we failed. His immortality was our pain. One of the Spanish capes. An adversary came along. Save the pain of defeat. French name. I have no idea. Help me out here. Um, Horatio Nelson has a naval association. In order to protect victory, the victory was Nelson's ship. So we're looking... The answer is a boat. Yes, Mr. Holmes? Okay. Uh, I don't know about that. In any case... Farewell, Palinor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look at that poem again. No. I want to see that book again. So did it actually say that the uh, victory was the name of his boat? It doesn't say that victory was the name of his boat, did it? It didn't! Well, how are you supposed to solve the... the, the... Yeah, okay, so that's a puzzle that's impossible to solve because... They left out the vital clue that victory is the name of his boat. Although we do have the word victorious here. That's that's definitely, yeah, nope, nope, nope. Hashtag awful puzzle. I don't know. I'm, I'm just complaining to cover up the fact that I'm an idiot who couldn't solve the puzzle on his own. It might refer to a boat. Its master was Admiral Nelson, and the thief wanted to run it aground. Moreover, the boat would have a French name. Wait, I have a suggestion. A very popular painting, symbolic even, The Fighting Temeraire, a Turner. In this painting, Turner is described as having mastered painting techniques, and it is one of the most beautiful English paintings of all time. The subject, a boat by the French name of Temeraire, was involved in the Battle of Trafalgar and distinguished itself by protecting Victory, the flagship on board which was... Victory, did you say? Yes. Is Admiral that where we're Nelson supposed to get the board. clue about Victory? Temeraire received a special distinction, but I am not certain of which. The painting shows it being towed to the Breaker's Yard, I believe. Okay, so you need to solve the puzzle in order to get the clue to solve the puzzle? Oh, come on. Where would I find it? Uh, ah, uh, I don't know. You would have to search through the English works of this century near the west section of the gallery. My thanks, Palinor. Come, Watson, let's take a look at the painting. Yeah, I don't know. Did I misread what those hints were? Horatio Nelson has a victory, a naval association. Yep, no, the, that's definitely not something you could figure out on your own. Oh, well. Okay, let's go to the English uh, gallery and see if we can find this painting. What is a painting? These are paintings. These are clearly paintings of people, right? 
And yeah, those were clearly people, so let's go over here. There we go. Oh, just walk into the room. I've been looking for. And we find it. Here's what I've been looking for. Okay, which one is out of my out of my face, Watson? I was trying to look at that thing, that picture. The Evening Star by William Turner. The graceful transitional moment between day and night. Uh, apparently I'm on the wrong side of the room. Sun Rising Through Vapor by William Turner. Forty years before Monet, Turner creates a new painting that dissolves forms in a quivering of atmosphere and light. Yes. Oh my gosh, Watson, out of my way, bro. Margate from the Sea by William Turner. Here we have a precursor to Impressionism. Is this the William Turner room? A magnificent landscape. No, not, not necessarily. Anyway, is this it? Found it. Jeez. Okay. Hard to find the painting, but uh, we found it. Good. Hmm. The fighting temerary. <laughs> it's splendid. not even kind of think? looking at it. I agree. It's splendid. The existence of this painting would seem to give credit to this whole affair. As long as this painting remains on this wall, this letter, even if it is eloquent and provocative, is nothing more than a letter. It is possible that all of this could be a hoax with no substance whatsoever. We will know soon enough, as the theft will have to take place tonight. We must warn the museum's director, Holmes. Mm -hmm. You are correct, Watson. Shall we? Okay, so we figured out that this is 100% the thief's target. Let's check out the director. Fantastic! Superb! There, maestro. I believe that everything is settled. This collaboration will be my crowning glory, my masterpiece. Merci! I have finished the inventory of the works of art, Director. Oh, and I have the pleasure of introducing the great detective Sherlock Holmes and his companion, Dr. Watson. Good day, gentlemen. It's with pleasure that I welcome you to our gallery. I trust that you are here for pleasure and not business? I am afraid that is not the case. Oh. Oh. When it is no longer a matter of art, the artist must make his excuses. Messieurs, until we meet again, no need to accompany me. I know the way. Oh, that guy's totally the thief and he's going to rob while we're warning the director. My apologies, Come on. gentlemen. Have you been waiting long? Mr. Palinor was able to answer all of our most urgent questions. Tell me, who was that man who just left? That was Horace Valmont, a French painter. One of the best, seemingly. His letters of recommendation come from some of the grandest salons in Paris. A Frenchman? Let's take a look, Watson. I thought we were going to talk to the director, but yes, apparently he's very we're not. avant garde. He heard that we were showing the works of modern painters during our temporary exhibitions. He has loaned us a number of paintings and has promised to donate those that have the greatest success to the museum. Hmm. Lestrade, just in time. Oh! And the Frenchman Watson? Gone? Director, this is Inspector Lestrade from Scotland Yard. Lestrade, this is the director of the National Gallery, Sir Pointer, and his assistant, Mr. Palinor. Lestrade, would you have your constable on duty guard the entrance and make sure that nobody comes into the museum? Director, is there anything else? No, but... If you would care to follow me, I'll show you what the motivation behind all of this is. The reason for this little gathering is this letter that I received at my lodgings okay, this morning. Okay, um, he's going to talk forever. Into too much I, I'll just be he claims that this painting, the Fighting Temeraire, will be stolen tonight. Pardon? There now. It's because of a letter that you've disturbed me. You believe that? I would never have taken the liberty to disturb you if this letter, the authenticity of which I must admit hasn't been completely confirmed, was not written by the one and only Arsene Lupin. Arsene Lupin? Arsene Lupin? Us? Arsenal? Who? Lou? What? Arsene Lupin, the most wanted cat burglar in the world. We will know soon enough whether or not this letter is a fake, or if I had reason to disturb you, Lestrade. But you must understand that we couldn't take even the slightest chance. Hmm, perhaps. Why not simply put this thing under lock and key in the bank or at Scotland Yard? That would make too much we sense. We cannot risk storing the painting in an improper environment or to entrust it to anyone who calls it a thing. All that would achieve would be to shift the problem. This painting is priceless. Beware he who would harm it. 
What I propose, Lestrade, is to do a tour of the museum with Sir Pointer in order to check any possible points of break and entry and leave two men on duty here tonight. In addition, Director, you must close the museum to the public and not let anyone else During in. During the big if exhibition, you feel it's really? And you, Holmes? I'll pass by tomorrow at dawn. We'll know then what we're up against. Should the unthinkable have occurred, I insist that nothing is touched until I arrive. Is that clear? Let's be off, Watson. Dude, Sherlock, just stand guard for the rest of the Listen, night, dude. Inspector, Come on. I have a lot of work to take care of. It would be better if I leave you to do a tour by yourself. You are, after all, a professional. Here are the keys to all of the locked doors. If you need me, I'll be in my office. Okay. Well, I oh. best inspect the museum to find any of Lupin's possible exits, including mice holes. Okay, so I thought we were... Okay, finally I get to control the game again. Okay, so that was kind of a weird scene where, um, you know, he's like, and the Frenchman? And then all of a sudden Watson's wandering away instead of getting a tour, but it turns out he was just going to get Lestrade, so that makes more sense. But I'm still suspicious of the, the villain who is our only suspect besides the whiny guy, so I'm thinking he could be the culprit.